All right, everybody. This is the start. Get the camera right. This is the start of part six on the deep sea lab base, the lab, and the flying sub. This is uh, January twenty second, Wednesday twenty second. It's about a quarter after three in the afternoon. Uh, working third shift, you know, ha does have its advantages. I can work a few hours every day in my shop before I got to go into work tonight. Um, which is a plus now I'm off tomorrow Thursday the 23rd so I'll be back down to do some more work on the deep sea lab what I tried to say in the video I just posted on my youtube channel part 5 um, I got um, a little more work on the base uh, I have to do the shadow uh, work around the stones and I'm either going to use flat black or I'm going to use um, oils and then I may hit a few of the, the rocks with some sand or something to give it a little bit more color I don't want to go overboard with uh, that part I'll turn the camera around here in a minute because I got everything on my workbench I'm not going to go with the um, uh, um, what is it? It's the to me a mix that I have the buff and desert yellow for the lab. Uh, I'm gonna go with a different color. Um, I think it's just a dark yellow I'm gonna go with. I'll show that too here in a second. But uh, I did a lot of work on the base. I started with you know with the primer and then I put on the flat earth. Didn't quite like it. It was just too dark. And the picture that I have of the deep sea lab there's a lot of detail and the ocean floor the stones are very dark and the sand is somewhat light and that's the approach I wanted to go with it plant life and stuff like that I'm not sure if I'm gonna go that far uh, I just kinda guy I like just to do a basic base I'm not gonna go overboard and go that extra mile I want mine to look pretty cool and with the deep sea lab I think I chose dark yellow because I um, the flying sub is a chrome uh, yellow so I don't want them to look too close together in color so that I think the dark yellow with the chrome yellow is gonna look good because I'm gonna permanently have the flying sub on top of the lab because it's all gonna be lit up there's no way I'm gonna be able to take it off and that's the way I'm doing my uh, little diorama here with the base the lab and the flying sub uh, I'll have to just permanently attach it to the top of it and that's gonna look cool but it's uh, chrome yellow and I don't want the lab to be that bright of a yellow e either it just would look too tacky but I think I'm I going with a dark yellow so I I'm rambling off now I'll turn the camera around and let everybody get a look at uh, um, progress so far okay here's the deep sea lab take that off it's just sitting on top uh, there's the detail I think it turned out really nice you can see here and I'll have to get the shadows I mean I have to go around not all the rocks but in certain areas like uh, add some flat black or um, oil that I have for the shadows um, I'm not gonna go overboard but I, I'll just have to pick and choose like on the back side and maybe a little bit around the sides and back here and I have uh, I do have Tamiya uh, XF1 flat black and through the airbrush I could get that done in no time or I can use um, my oil here and it's black but this is going to take a little longer to dry which I don't really care too much um, once I get the base I should completely done and I can focus on the, the deep sea lab and I think it is a dark it is dark yellow XF60 and that's the color I'm going to go with with uh, for the deep sea lab because here's the color I have for the flying sub it's chrome yellow the number I don't have my glasses on it looks like 4683 
and that's what it shows in uh, painting instructions on the flying sub for the sea view kit that I I just finished up but this is the color for the flying sub so the flying sub would be sitting on top here and then the base or the lab will be this uh, dark yellow and I think they go together pretty good it's gonna look really good and that's gonna look good next to the ocean floor because the the whole uh, lab is going to be painted this color, even the three legs. Now I did glue on the docking ring. She's all done. I used 5 minute epoxy and I used some Tamiya putty and filled in the gaps. And then I'm going to have to partially paint this uh, once uh, I got the flying sub. That's going to be tricky once I got the flying sub on top. I'll have before I mount that I'm gonna to have to paint that with the dark yellow uh, because I gotta work down here and I gotta fill it once I glue that down with the five minute epoxy you can see here I've got some gaps to fill then I'll have to touch that up with primer and then go over the rest of it with the dark yellow but uh, here's a picture of this is what you get with the kit it shows you here, it shows this guy in the back, mon some kind of monster type guy that's playing around with the sea view. A lot of detail, but you can see here that the stones are really dark. It looks like there's some sand on top of them and a little little sea growth on a few of them. But uh, that's the route I'm going, so you can almost see it's, it's, it's pretty close. But I don't want to go overboard with it and you can see that the sand right there where my finger is it is it's uh, like a light gray and that, that's I had went with that approach and I think it turned out pretty good looks really really, really awesome looking um, like I said I'm not gonna go overboard I'll do some maybe a little bit of highlights on the stones I'll think about it but I'll definitely have to do the shadow work and I'll either do that with the flat black or I'll use the oils that I have. And I'll see what I have in my collection of oils to see if I may use any more colors on top of the, the base. So I'm going to go ahead and pause for now. Start working on this. Uh, probably tomorrow when I'm off. I figure I'd give everybody a quick update. This is start part 6 on the base, the lab, and the flying sub. And I'll talk to everybody later. Alright everybody, back on a deep sea lab. I got six skirters I gotta paint. I got them on these cans here, you can see here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tamiya Flat Aluminum XF16. Adjusted the camera so everything should be in frame. pretty good
pretty good. There's some of them I could have cleaned up on the sides. You can see right there a little bit. Right up in here. I'm not going to worry about it. It'll give it a little bit of character, I guess. I'll go over these one more time. dry They're looking pretty good have it guys at least the girders are done um, I gotta let those dry tomorrow I'll probably hit it with uh, flat clear let that dry uh, this is Tuesday the, uh, January 28th so I'll probably hit that with a clear flat clear tomorrow and then maybe by Thursday or Friday I can flip it all flip them over and repeat the process by painting painting the other side and hitting it with a flat clear one thing I hate about aluminum or chrome or any of that if you touch it with your hand sometimes the paint will come off so I'm going to uh, not worry about that I'll go ahead and use the flat clear once that's dry and I can flip them over do the other side repeat the process and hit it with a clear and I'll be good to go they'll be ready to be mounted on to the deep sea lab um, that'll be my next step is to work on that and also the flying sub so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause for now and I'll talk with everybody uh, I'll talk with everybody later the girders are looking pretty cool all right everybody another update on the deep sea lab off camera I wired up a, I think it's a two millimeter warm white or white LED uh, with a 470 ohm resistor you can see I just got it rigged up right now taped and on the bottom here it's just gonna be perfect coming out it's just gonna look like a regular light that looks pretty cool I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I got it hooked up to my power supply and go ahead and put uh, the dome on and go ahead and put the flying sub on. See what I'm doing here. Okay, there we go. I'll go ahead and turn the power on. It's at uh, almost 9 volts, 8.9. Pump it up a little bit more, it's a little over 9 some of the lights off that's gonna look pretty cool I figured that add that little extra feature to um, the deep sea lab that'll look pretty cool I don't know I'll try to bump it up to 12 and just to see how bright it is I'm gonna either run it off of 9 or 12. That's 12. That still don't look too bad. Uh, let's see if I can get underneath. If I can get a better look at it. That looks pretty cool. So, 
here. Let me take, let me take the flying sub off. Take that off. You can just see I bend it over. I drill a hole in the center of this piece that I cut out uh, earlier. It's glued. It's glued down with five minute epoxy, so that's not going to go nowhere. Then I got the wire running down through the leg, and of course it'll go through the base. But um, I think that turned out pretty cool. I'm not going to be able to install this yet um, until I finish up with the. Uh, Deep Sea Lab and the flying sub before I go ahead and glue this down. Um, for the fact that I don't want the wire everywhere, I probably want to. Uh, I'll work on that since I got the lighting for that. I'll work on that, uh, like I said, down the road. At least I got that part done. I think it's going to look pretty cool because I'll have the legs lit up plus the dome lit up. And here's the lighting in here. I'll have that lit up. Plus I'll have the flying sub lit up. And give it one more look at it. Looking pretty good. Lights even coming through inside the dome. So uh, I figured I'd give everybody a look at that idea. It's looking pretty cool. And I'll talk with everybody later. All right, everybody, another update on the Deep Sea Lab and the flying sub. I'm going to be working on it today. I uh, came up with an idea to feed uh, the wire through the bottom of the flying sub through the, the Deep Sea Lab with the shrink tubing. I'll show that I, idea that I came up with once I get that all together. I just wanted to keep the two separate so I can focus on the Deep Sea Lab. Um, I got to drill a hole through the top here of the docking ring for this shrink tubing to go through and then I can go ahead and mount this. This is the LED I'm going to use for the lighting of the bottom here but I'm not going to put install that yet until I uh, hit that with some uh, uh, dark yellow. This is going to be the overall color of the deep sea lab. It's uh, XF60 just add a thinner to it so it's ready to go but I want to at least get the bottom part here paint it and then I'll be able to mount that uh, LED and then uh, any touch-ups it shouldn't be too bad I can probably cover that up but I figured I could do that and get that out of the way without having to worry about doing that so that's what I got on my workbench today I may set the camera up and show my idea and uh, how it should turn out. I think it'll be all right with the, the shrink tubing. So let me go ahead and pause for now and I'll talk with everybody later. All right everybody I'm gonna go ahead and paint the bottom of the deep sea lab. Cover that with the dark yellow which is uh, XF60. Let's see what she looks like.
hopefully that was all in frame. Pretty good. I don't want to go too crazy because I got to mount the top and putty it and primer it. But at least could get the bottom. So hopefully that was all on frame. I'll pause, finish up, and show the end results later. Um, but hopefully that was all on camera. I think that dark yellow is going to look pretty cool on the deep sea lab. Um, but I'll show everybody. I'll pause for now and uh, talk with everybody later. All right, everybody, back on the deep sea lab. Here's a look at the base. Um, I would say I'm finished with it. I'm not going to do much more to it. See, I did the shadows on the stones, the rocks, whatever you like to call them. Rocks, I guess. <laughs> and they turned out pretty good. And then here's what the bottom of the deep sea lab looks like in the dark yellow. It was kind of hard to film that and spit it out <laughs> on uh, what I was trying to do. Just get the bottom here so I can add that uh, LED on the inside here and then it should be good to go but um, she's turning out to look pretty good I got wires hanging out everywhere but you get the general idea she's gonna look pretty cool when it's all together I just need to separate the two uh, the flying sub and the deep sea lab um, so I can focus on one at a time uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, shrink tubing after I, I gotta drill a hole through the top here for that to come through and then this of course will cover that all up once it's uh, uh, the flying subs done but since this is gonna have a chrome yellow this is the chrome yellow I'm, go I'm going to use that's what it said in the instructions and I did have it in stock and it looks like the number is 4683 Chrome yellow, it is acrylic. Model Masters. It's going to look pretty good on the flying sub. And then one of these blues here, I forget what blue I have for like the pinstriping on the top and bottom. Um, but I really want to focus on doing this separate completely because I'm going to try to do some lighting on the inside with the photo edge. And that's going to take me some time. But uh, I want to at least get the deep sea lab together. Then I can uh, do the seam work down here where the, um, the gaps are. And then uh, hit it with some primer. And then I can go ahead and paint it. And then the windows, I'll debate what I'm going to do about that. Either use micro crystal clear, which I have here. Or the um, 560 canopy glue I may go ahead and use the micro crystal clear but uh, probably can do that after it's all together and it's painted um, that's what I got on my bench that's what I'm going to try to be focusing on today is getting uh, at least that light in and then uh, working on getting the deep sea lab together so I'll go ahead and uh, pause for now and talk with everybody later all right everybody another update on the deep sea lab yesterday I used a micro mask and I covered the windows you can see here I put a nice heavy coat I didn't think I'd have enough time to uh, apply that on all six windows but it worked out fine been drying overnight but for double protection here I'm going over them with uh, Tamiya tape and I have a six millimeter I'm using here and it's perfect size cutting it down to fit uh, in the windows so I'll have double protection there which is good uh, I got in the mail um, Wednesday which was the 5th of February I ordered from hobbylink.com uh, Steinol Res Badger. I got uh, two bottles, uh, four ounces of um, the black here. I got two bottles of that, and I got two bottles of the uh, white. I'm going to give this a try today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the white 
on the deep sea lab uh, instead of going over the primer with the dark yellow I'm going to go ahead and hit this with some white primer and that should look pretty good I'll let that sit and dry overnight uh, or wait until Monday when I'm off to uh, finish it up um, I don't care if I get the primer on the legs on the bottom um, I'll do a good coverage with it see what she looks like um, I do have the gray primer in the 16 ounce bottle um, they fortunately didn't have the 16 ounce um, uh, bottle white primer uh, Hobby Link was out but they did have the four ounce bottles and uh, I figured I'd just get two of each they got a sale on their paints right now I think it's still going on uh, but I picked up two the black and two of the uh, white uh, the black I'll be using a lot for uh, white blocking and maybe primering the outside of the uh, uh, kits that I build uh, I am currently uh, multitasking right now I'm working on the 350 scale Franklin I've got the inside light block but I may go ahead and use the white um, flat on the inside for uh, the lighting part of it I'll get a when I get to that part of it I'll show it but today I'm definitely going to set up the camera for the spray booth and try this out I'm sure it'll be fine without um, thinning anything out but uh, I only have a couple more windows to do and then I can set up the spray booth and uh, hit this with the uh, Badger white primer so I figured I'd give everybody a quick update for now also put the front of the flying sub just it's just sitting in there uh, just to give, give an idea of what she's gonna look like when she's all together at one end no problem I have to mask off the windows of, of course and where the lights in the front here where my thumb is I'm gonna have to try to mask those off uh, I want to get those little headlight things lit up I'm not quite sure what I have in stock to uh, I think I, I might have some SMDs for that if not I'm gonna have to order some and if I do that might slow down this part of the the build but um, to set this up on top here and then everybody can get a look at it it's gonna look pretty cool when it's uh, all done uh, this is gonna be the longest step of the build is the flying sub because I got the photo edge and I'm going to be lighting that up um, but I'll go ahead and pause for now get the this finished up with the tape I've, I've got two more windows to do and then I'll set it up for the spray booth I'll be uh, right back on that when I get that all set up so I'll talk to everybody later all right guys I got the lab in my spray booth I got this all mixed up and it's in my airbrush so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try I got the PSI at 20 if I gotta bump it up I will but you can see maybe in a cup here I've got the white so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try I've never used a Badger's white before or their black primer I think I'm just gonna go ahead and primer the whole thing go over that yellow since I've got that uh, LED right there covered up with that uh, shrink tubing I'm just gonna probably primer it all up just to see what she looks like so let's get started
that's coming out pretty nice. Hopefully that's all caught on the camera there. That's looking good so far. I'm probably going to have to touch it up off camera, uh, but it's looking pretty good. A little tricky with this leg right here as you can see I'm liking the results. It's looking really good. I'm going to flip her over and do the rest of the lab. At least that should be all on, on uh, caught on film here. You know, caught on the camera. Zoom it in a little bit.
looking pretty good. Uh, I'll do a little bit more. I'll pause and finish up off camera. Uh, and hopefully this was all caught on camera. But I like I like that the paint's working fine out of my airbrush without thinning it out. And I have it at 20 PSI. guys I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and see if I need to do any touch-ups probably more than likely on the legs too um, but uh, it should have been all caught on camera uh, I like the the primer it's working fine um, I will stick using this down the road I bought two bottles so I can uh, use one for uh, figure kits for their complexion but I'm um, rambling off. That should have been all caught on camera. She's looking good. I'll uh, see what I have to do off camera to touch it up. Might need another coat or two. And then maybe this weekend or by Monday, I'll be able to hit it with the dark yellow. So I'll go ahead, pause for now, and talk to everybody later. All right, everybody, another update on the lab. I hit, hit it uh, a couple more coats of the Stano Res. Uh, Badger white primer off camera and uh, like the results it levels real real good um, Just like the gray primer uh, I Think I'm ready for some paint now It turned out pretty good it looks really good in white. I Just like how it applied. I didn't have to use any thinner out of that which is good um Legs look good. Everything looks good on it. So I'm going to let this dry. And if I can get on it this weekend, I'll hit it with the final coat of paint, which will be the dark yellow XF60. That's going to look really good. That uh, white primer should make this come out and look really nice. Um, then I can move on to the flying sub. I figured I'd give everybody another look. Looking real good on the base. Don't have many more steps to do. Just paint it and then I'll have to hit it with a clear coat. I already have the girders done. I did that a couple days ago. I did them in uh, flat aluminum and I hit them with a flat uh, uh, clear coat. And I'll be able to mount those once I'm done with the lab. Um, up in here where the docking ring uh, is, I'm going to have to fill those in with uh, Micro Crystal Clear, but I'll have to do that after it's all painted. I figured I'd give everybody another look. This primer is really awesome. I'll start using more of that here down the road. But I figured I'd give everybody a quick look. I'm almost there. Once I'm done with that, I can move on to the Flying Sub. So I'm going to go ahead and pause for now and talk with everybody later. All right, everybody, and another update on the deep sea lab. I got the flying sub just sitting on it right now. See what she looks like in white. And today I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish it up with the XF60 dark yellow. So I'll set the camera up in my spray booth here for that. But I figured I'd give this like before and after. I like that uh, Badger primer really worked. Um, I will also do the same steps with the flying sub. I'll hit it with the flat white here and then I'm going to go over it with a I don't know if it's X2 it's Tamiya their gloss white over that and then I'll hit it with the chrome yellow so that sub flying sub should look really good when I get to that part so I figure I give everybody another look I'll set the camera up get this ready in my airbrush and uh, finished that uh, D 
deep sea lab today and then it'll look really nice on that uh, base there so let me go ahead and pause get set up and I'll be right back all right everybody back on the lab I got the paint and the airbrush I'm gonna go ahead and paint this Let's see how she turns out I got the PSI at 20 At the bottom first, do my best that this will be on film here. So far it's looking really nice. Alright, the bottom's looking really good. I'm going to flip it over and do the rest of the lab and uh, um, everybody should get a good look at that part of it. So uh, let's go ahead and finish up. I think it's looking really good. There you have it guys. I think it looks awesome. Uh, I'll let that set 
and uh, dry. I'll touch it up off camera. So I'll go ahead and pause and show the end results. And I'll be right back. All right, everybody, another update. This is the final update for part six. I've been uh, working on this for a while, and I don't know, I've been doing it for quite a bit, so I have to get this on my computer and edit everything and put it all together and put it up on my YouTube channel, but you can see that that dark yellow turned out awesome. Um, XF60 over the Badger white primer, and I got the flying stuff to sit on there right now. But man, she turned out really nice. Touched it up off camera. I got the legs in the bottom real good. And uh, I'll hit it either with a clear coat or a flat coat first. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll let this set for a couple days though before I get to that. But. Uh, go ahead and I'll call this a wrap for part six. I'd like to thank all my YouTube subscribers. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and I'll talk with everybody later.